Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. What was your uh, line I quoted earlier this week? It's not apples and oranges. It's apples and big gobs of Satan's vomit or something. <laughs> yeah, it's app- big steaming pustule gobs of Satan's vomit and apples. That's what we're comparing here. <laughs> you also tweeted Trump's not the Antichrist, but Christ is the anti-Trump. Well, <laughs> well yeah. Well said, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, Um, Can I just say how much I hate it when I have to pay $400 million bond for a guilty verdict because I lied to inflate my net worth? But now no one wants to loan me money because I lied to inflate my net worth. I'm a victim. I'm the victim here. You retweeted Mark Levin, who's been whining among other (laughs) Trumpers. What? He is. Why are there no Republican multi-billionaires offering to lend President Trump the funds? And you just said, just guessing, Mark, it might have something to do with his long-documented history of not paying bills while recklessly lying about his overall net worth. Um, That could be it, John. Why isn't Mark Levin (laughs) giving money to Trump? Why is he scolding Republican billionaires? Trump's not a billionaire. Trump's the guy who owns the golf course the billionaires golf on. They don't see him as a peer. And if I was Trump... And I still didn't have this half a million dollars by Monday. And my son-in-law, Jared, just got $2 billion for covering up a murder I helped with. I'll tell you, if I was Trump, I'd be so mad, I'd start being attracted to my other daughter. I really would. I really would. I'd be hot for Tiffany. <laughs> Excuse me. By the way, I, you know, I think of you not just as the ecclesiastical MOOC, but also uh, uh, the uh, official psychic of the Stephanie Miller Show. You said my Thank predictions you. for Donald Trump, Paul Bearers, my pillow guy, Chachi, Kid Rock, Kim Jong-un, Kanye, Ron Jeremy, and Rudy Giuliani continuously jumping up so he can reach the casket. But we wish no harm on Donald Trump. You're just, you know, well, yeah. you're just preparing ahead. You're just thinking ahead. You know, That's all. I, I, do, I, I do this bit sometimes about how you have to be healthy to be alive for Trump's funeral because you don't want to miss You No one wants, I don't, and I don't wish any harm on Trump. You know this, Stephanie. Yes. I no. want, I want him to have a long, healthy life. I want three ghosts to visit him on Christmas Eve. But, but yeah, I don't want anything bad to happen. I wish him a long, healthy life. I've said he the, should get. Hague. He needs splash guard on his grave. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking but ahead. You know he's gonna. He's gonna die. I'm just saying. You have to stay healthy. Please watch the partying and the drinking and try to exercise. You you want to be alive for the funeral because you know Melania is bringing a date, right? You know that's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, his his casket's going to look like Liberace's piano. And who's going to sit? Well, we know who's going to sing. Frank Stallone. But still, you don't want to miss it, people. <laughs> oh, this is why you counsel us on Twitter. Life is short. Be sure to read as many articles about celebrity breaks up, break up, breakups as possible. <laughs> <laughs> or about whatever yeah. is happening in England, which I can't, even with Chris's explanations every day, I can't figure out. I barely follow I- that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know. I just all I know is the worse it gets, I hope they find a way to blame Meghan Markle. I really do. I hope they they if if you can manage to blame Meghan Markle for Prince Andrew, which they've done, then yep. you can do anything. Yep. So <laughs> Um, so, you know, we had, as you said, especially as a New Yorker, you're going to enjoy this weekend, the fuller Donald Trump's diaper gets. I mean, there's already been, yes. John, a bunch of panic stories this morning. Uh, Maggie Harriman reveals Trump world chatter about Trump rage at property seizures, possible bankruptcy. Yes. Trump rages uh-huh. as deadline approaches. <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. This, I, as bad a weekend as he's going to have, that's how good my weekend's going to be. Yes. Um, Stop and smell the train wreck, people. Enjoy it. You keep wanting to see yes. Donald Trump behind bars. He's behind bars now. His karmic penance has begun. This is only his second legal failure this year. People, take a moment and be glad to be alive. I mean, Laura Trump is going to... They're turning the RNC into his GoFundMe right now. It's. I mean, big donors are hiding from Donald Trump like 14-year-old girls backstage at a beauty pageant. (laughs) They are hiding from him. They're trying to funnel all the RNC cash into just him to pay his legal bills so there's no money for down-ballot races. This is beautiful, guys. Lara Trump is defiling the RNC like it's a Tom Petty song, and we need to (laughs) lean in and pay attention because this is gorgeous. Save America (laughs) PAC is broke right now, and Biden has $150 million. Yeah. By the way, um, what was I going to say? Um, Glenn Kirshner, you know, w- was uh, confirming the news that broke right, uh, uh, yesterday, Chris, that, you know, this document thing in the New York hush money case is nothing. There's, you know, it's less than 300 documents. They're all corroborate stuff they already knew. 
Um, his prediction is this trial, this next trial is going forward in April, the uh, election interference hush money case. Um, it will. This one, Fonnie Willis plans to press ahead with her goal of putting Trump on trial before November election and tends to ask the judge uh, in the criminal case to schedule a trial date as soon as this summer. It is a bold move. Uh, as we know, Judge McAfee granted a request from Trump and his co-defendants to seek an appeal. Um, it, but that's not going to stay. The, the trial still goes forward. And you know how I feel about the whole... By the way, Trump not only doesn't know his ass from an elbow, his elbow, he can't spell it. Did you hear did you hear him say felt funny? They spell it, you know, like your ass. That no, that's are you spelled yeah. fanny even. Oh my god. I know, but wasn't that a classy moment? Evangelicals, there's the guy you gave up Jesus for. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your fat messiah. Yes. <laughs> Racist and rapist. You got it all right there. Uh. Thank God you got rid of that skinny Brown skinned Jewish guy from the Middle East. You did, you did hope, good. You upgraded. I swear to God, I hope funny. I hope oh, he goes down in every single one of these RICO charges. One of the um, experts said on CNN basically, this is a two month sideshow the judge should not even have let happen. This is what I kept saying. Uh, but it's over, and the judge finally came to the right decision that there was no conflict. Uh, and so yeah. now we're back to where we should never have left, which is the, uh, these people are under felony indictment. Let's get a trial date. So, you know, I mean, yeah, go ahead. But, but Stephanie, in fairness, I mean, Prosecutor Wade was a married man when the affair began. And I don't know if you know this, but Donald Trump supporters are really offended <laughs> really by mad? adultery, uh -huh. really mad at adultery. So that's why this had to go through. They had to humiliate an accomplished black woman for that deeply moral reason. Um, give me 15. So this is where we've come. Uh, this is Marco, little Marco. Is there apparently is. on the VP uh, shortlist, yep. which is for him super short. He's short. Yeah. I think anybody who would be offered that should be honored, but I've never spoken to anybody in the Trump world about it. So, if offered this position, you would accept it? Anybody who would be offered the chance to serve their country as vice president should consider that to be an honor. That's why I'm in public service. But it's just not. If that changes, I'll let you know, but I've never talked to anybody about it. Um, oh, will there, has there ever been as much tape? <laughs> That's Marco Rubio saying what it, first of all, making a small D joke. About right. Donald yeah. Trump. I mean, yeah. this, this would be the first time in history a vice president had made a small penis joke on TV <laughs> about the man who gave him the job. I, I, I it would be beautiful. And by the way, can we just say the very fact that they're even leaking this to focus group this idea with the press? Yeah. The very fact that they're that worried about not winning Florida, they'd consider Marco Rubio. Yeah, or the shows Latino how vote. They are. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's so obvious. That's I, it. It's but he all is all so obvious. They know he's thirsty for power, though. Yeah, that's a joke Yo, about how much. I mean, water this is the guy who called him a con artist. He, they, they, they hate each other. The only way, I mean, maybe if they asked Ted Cruz, they'd have somebody who hated Trump more, or one of Trump's wives. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, it's perfect. That's exactly the way Marco Rubio's career deserves to end up, <laughs> being a full-time sycophant for a man he hates. Uh, by the way, uh, you mentioned the uh, RNC, which is just fantastic that now they've reversed themselves and they're going to pay his legal bills. So all the money's yes. going to yes. their crookie nominee. Yep. Couldn't happen to a nicer party. Uh, I just love this story. Trump canceled a rally in Arizona because his campaign was too broke. Uh, yes. <laughs> he was planning to hold a rally in Arizona uh, on the same day he rallied in Ohio to support his endorsed uh, Senate candidate. What's his name? Bernie Moreno. The uh -huh. guy that was Bernie Moreno. looking for, oh, other, what's his name? for other guys. Beautiful, that on the, guy. Something that's going to lose to Sherrod Brown. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Sorry. Bernie Moreno is great. Big homophobe with the, you know, personal ad. Because I don't know if you understand this, but in most Republican campaigns, the intern always has access to your private email to of set course. up an adult friend finder account. So <laughs> so that's all it was. And that, yeah. <laughs> Um, a, a full abortion ban. This guy's great. Democrats spent $2 million to get this guy the nomination instead of Nolan, yeah. who might have had a chance again. I mean, like Bernie Moreno is the Democrats getting 50 percent closer to maybe actually being able to keep the Senate. He's this year's Herschel Walker. Yeah. And it's beautiful. I'm wondering yeah. if the RNC is paying Donald Trump's legal bills. How is that not a gift and therefore not taxable as income? I yeah. mean, on a campaign finance law. This would go all the way to the Supreme Court, who would then say, oh, bribes, good for you, and, and let it go. But, yeah. I mean, it's so crooked. He is robbing the entire party. When this is over, we are going to breathe such a sigh of relief and realize the signs were right there. Anyone who donates to the RNC is just lining Trump's pocket. And donating to the RNC to help a Republican candidate anywhere in America is useless. Yeah. You can only make direct donations to the candidate. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's fleecing the entire thing and even, it's beautiful go ahead and Mar let him 
Redistribute your wealth, MAGA. Yeah, even Marco Rubio, by the way, you know, I love in this art article is described as he looks good on paper and on television, a powerful combination for Trump. <laughs> but I mean, it's in it, it, it in reality, right? It, 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 it's always a bust. That's the thing with his. And I don't know these other always. names, uh, these other names he's floating, Ben Carson and Tim Scott. I just, no. I, right? They're just a, like, oh, look, I'm not a racist. I'm thinking about these people. It's just I mean, it's so Tim Scott's a possibility. Tim Scott, I thought last year I was convinced he was he was in the lead. But you know what? Um, he He's he's getting married. He's going to be getting down with his wife. He's going to be way too busy making sweet love by the fire for the next six months. Congratulations, Tim and Mindy, by the way. Every, ladies, try to find Try to find yourself a man like Tim Scott, ladies. A man who'll go off on weekend fishing trips with the boys and never open his tackle box. <laughs> Try to find a man just like Tim. Weary Warrior tweeted, Are you better off than you were four years ago? Has to be the stupidest damn question ever asked. For God's sakes, we were in the beginning of a deadly and terrifying pandemic for which we were totally unprepared because our so-called quote-unquote president didn't want us to know because it might hurt his ratings. We were left without adequate warning, food, toilet paper, masks, gloves, ventilators, etc. The country was set adrift in a sea of fear caused by incompetent, ignorant, narcissistic leadership. Um... John, how much of this is a mass, you know how we like to block out our own trauma? How much of this is people just don't want to remember how bad it was? Um, part of it's that, but part of it's the media culture that doesn't want Joe Biden. They want their Trump-sized ratings back. And that's why for months it was the Joe Biden is too old. Then it was, are you better off now than four years ago? And now this week, they're really just going with the, oh, Americans don't like this choice. Have you heard this one? Mm -hmm. Americans... Americans just want a different choice. I mean, Donald Trump led a violent terrorist attack and ended 200 years of peaceful transfer of power. And Joe Biden thinks women should control their own bodies. Both sides have lost their mind. We, we want a better choice. <laughs> Biden's old with a stutter and Trump is old and rapes people. We, we want a better choice is all. That's This is what all is the media's it? games. Everyone with a memory knows we're better off now than where we were four years ago. All right. Hey, you know what? Uh, Sexy Liberal Tour is uh, is done, exploded. And I'm just saying you got to go to sexyliberal.com right now. Yeah. We will see you kicking off in, uh, uh, what do you call it, Minneapolis, then on to Philadelphia and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. uh, That's right. If you don't come to this tour, it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath <laughs> for, 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 for all of America. And the comedy thing is the least of it all. But yes. The comedy thing the least of it. A bloodbath for all America. <laughs>